What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today I have for you the uh, newest version of Livey Mobile Device or iDevice Restore program compatible with Linux or OS 6. I promised that I will create a tutorial for you uh, in which I'm going to explain how to compile the iDevice Restore and Livey Mobile Device components on Linux or Ubuntu or on a Mac. But after a little bit of math in my mind, I discovered the fact that it's a little bit too complicated because it requires a lot of, a lot of components to be pre-installed before you can install it and I decided to finally build it myself and create two different executables, the one for OS X and the one for Linux, which will finally work on everybody's computer without being required to install any other homebrews on your terminal. But if you do want to install it yourself and test your skills in Linux or Ubuntu, the installation process is the same for both Linux and OS X because the terminal commands are the same and you need to navigate to github.com slash device. Why is this new Libby mobile, mobile device version important? Well, compared with the one for Qu from Quamotion, from the internet, from Windows, it is extremely new and uh, that Quamotion version is not compatible with iPhone 5s, 6, 6s and so on. That's not compatible with 64-bit devices because it's too old. Okay, Quamotion didn't update it. So um, on GitHub you have the latest version, which is compatible with 64-bit um, with devices, but it doesn't run on Windows from, for some reason. If I find a way to use probably MinW to... I don't know, to compile it, or if I find any other way to compile it on Windows, I'm going to also release it. But for the moment, you can also work on Linux if you don't have a Mac. Okay, so Linux is free, you can grab a, an installation uh, live disk like this one right here and you can run it. It's pretty simple. I make a tutorial if you really need it. Okay, so you need to go right here, download all these packs by clicking clone if you want to install it yourself and check this read me section. It's very important. Why? Because it, it gives you everything you need. At first, those things must be already installed, which are live GNU and UTLS or open SSL. To install open SSL, you need to go to terminal, write brew install open SSL. In my case, open SSL is already installed. After that, you need to install uh, libplist. In my case, it's installed already because I built the executable already, but you got the idea. And uh, lib usb maxed. This is the driver uh, iTunes uses to connect. Not available for Mula. Yes, I, I took it from uh, another repo, sorry. And the software, USB Muxed, Make, Auto Header, and so on. So, yeah, I should update the brew. You should do that uh, as well. I'm going to update the brew because some, uh, some packages cannot be found because you need to update your uh, homebrew system in order to download the new packs. Because this have a plist file or an XML file containing all the packages and all the repositories from where you can get all these things. But in time, those repositories are changing, are supposed to change, are supposed to get modified. And yeah, you need to keep your homebrew application updated. Okay, this might take a little bit. You can see right here it changes. It means that everything is working. Updated homebrew from uh, this version to this version. As you can see, it's a difference. And this is the software you need. And optional Cyton, a Python bindings, and Doxygen, Doxygen, yes, the Oxygen for documentation. And the install is this one, dot slash autogen dot sh make sudo make install. Okay, pretty simple. I'm going to wait. It's migrating homebrew. You need to do this, you need to update your uh, homebrew system because as you can see, some packages can no longer be found in their old location. Therefore, you need to stay updated. 
this is on the Mac, but as well on the Linux. So what I'm doing here on my Mac is exactly the same steps on Linux, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Kali Linux, and so on. So the terminal commands are the same. Okay, checking connectivity, tapped. Okay, cleaning. It have to clean uh, old packages and install newer one. This is a uh, pretty time-consuming task, but up to date finally. And I'm going to install uh, LibreSD Max now. Let's see if I can find it. If not, I need to search it in different places. Nope. Okay. Lib USB Max. Now it's correct. Anyways, you can take it from uh, directly from here. I'm going to go back. You have it right here if you need to to really install it. But this is how you need to, to go. After you install all the uh, prerequisites, you need to copy this autogen or slash. In order to do that, you need to CD first into the, um, for example, IB Mobile Device Master folder. This one you download it from uh, from GitHub. Then you need to dot slash autogen dot sh. This is the same on Linux or on uh, Ubuntu, and it will start the uh, process. But I already did everything from here, so. Um, As you can see, everything starts and builds automatically. You just need to wait at this point. I'm not going to rebuild it again because I already have it. And this is how it looks in the end. I'm going to open another terminal window. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So actually, I saved a little bit of your time and I built the application myself because sometimes you get errors from live USB because it's not available as a package. And sometimes you get another kind of errors because um, you have problems with live, um, live C SSL or something like this. And to avoid everything like this, I prefer to, to create it myself and publish it. Okay, after you cd into the folder, you simply write dot slash device restore. And this is how it looks like. As you can see, it works. And the difference, the major difference, you can see visually on uh, this build compared with the one from Windows is that you have one more feature right here, which is called W and it's downgrade. You don't have downgrade with custom firmware, as you can see here. You don't have downgrade with custom firmware on, on uh, Quamotion Windows variant, which means that this one is newer and has support for more things. So, uh, yes, you probably know the, the rules. You need a ACID if you are targeting the device in recovery or DFU mode. And if the device is in uh, normal mode, in hello screen or in the uh, springboard mode, you use unique device ID, which is 40 digit long. Okay, so the ACID and unique device ID can be retrieved using iTunes or Red Snow or something. So. This one is for OS X and this one is for Linux. You cannot run the Linux variant on OS X. I'm going to show you. As you can see, can see cannot execute binary file, and you cannot run the OS X version on Linux. So yes, here they're not compatible. I created this Linux variant by um, deploying the Ubuntu 15.04 in VirtualBox, and I did everything there. Then I copied in this folder. But it works with all variants of Ubuntu, no matter of what version. But keep in mind, you need to have the um, USB Max installed. It's actually um, embedded in the uh, file, but just in case it gives you any errors, you go to GitHub and uh, get the um, go to Libby Mobile device right here and go to USB Max. Then you need to simply compile this one. Okay. And on my uh, Mac OS 6 is provided by uh, iTunes already. So yeah, you got the idea, the same commands, very simple, very quick. Okay, so this is basically how you, how you create it very fast, tutorial on how you create it. Everything, every process is automatic after you uh, call the autogen, then you click the make, 
you need to make it, then you need to install it. But you already have the binaries in uh, the description, check them in the description. Do not forget to check out the channel here, FC365 iDevice Central, we're verified. Do not forget to check it for any other kind of iDevice related videos. For example, the jailbreak for iOS 9.3.3, 9.3.1, 9.3.0. Um, and 9.2.1, 9.2, or any other iCloud related videos or jailbreak videos. Thanks for watching, Joe Snow, till the next time, peace out.